Congress National Spokesperson Sanjay Jha today tweeted that the weakest Prime Minister India ever had was Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He also wrote that Vajpayee gave Kandahar terrorists an escort service and allowed Parliament to be attacked. This came after a few days after the Congress praised Vajpayee on their official website. Meanwhile, BJP leader Asifa Khan replied to his tweet and said that the entire country knows by now who is the real weakest Prime Minister. Addressing a huge rally in Lakhimpur Kheri in Uttar Pradesh, Narendra Modi slammed Congress once again and said that the party has no respect for Dr. Ambedkar. Hitting out at Rahul Gandhi, he said that Rahul has no knowledge of history and that he is openly insulting Dr. Ambedkar. He also said that Uttar Pradesh is angry with both Mulayam Singh Yadav and Akhilesh Yadav. BJP women workers in Vadodara took to the streets today to protest against Congress candidate Madhusudan Mistry. The women shouted anti-Congress and anti-Madhusudan slogans. The protest is being held against him for his alleged vulgar remarks against party senior leader Sushma Swaraj. Mistry had allegedly said that Sushma Swaraj should get a medical checkup done and let them know if there is any good news. Meanwhile, a complaint has also been filed with the EC against his remarks. After a controversy erupted over SP leader Abu Azmi's rape remark, Azmi said that his remarks were distorted. He further added that only a mental person would talk about a rape victim being punished. He said that what he meant was if women want to have consexual sex, then later they shouldn't file false complaint. After rumours of Priyanka Gandhi being interested in contesting from Varanasi, Priyanka has now denied the reports. Priyanka has said that she has been focusing on only two constituencies, that is Amethi and Raibareli. She further added that if she wanted to contest, her family would have always supported her. But it was her personal decision to not contest the elections. In an interesting move, senior BJP leader Murli Manohar Joshi has said that there is no Modi wave in the country, but only a BJP wave. Joshi's comments could, however, be a new reason for more rift within the party. But defending Joshi's comment, senior BJP leader Arun Jaitley said that there is no question of controversy, whether it's a Modi wave or a BJP wave. Well, we are splitting. Today, there is absolutely no difference. Modi is leading the BJP campaign. So where is the question of any controversy on whether it's a Modi wave or a BJP wave? It's a wave for our campaign, which is a Modi-led BJP campaign. Unidentified men pelted stones at an Aam Aadmi Party rally in Neemak. The rally was being addressed by AAP leader Shazia Ilmi in support of AAP candidate from the Mansour Neemak Lok Sabha seat, Paris Saklicha. Reportedly, the men were shouting slogans in support of Narendra Modi. After the AAP leaders got pelted in an election rally, another AAP leader was beaten up in Bihar late last night. AAP leader Prana Prakash was allegedly beaten up with iron rods. The unidentified men dragged him out of his car and attacked him. Prana was immediately taken to the nearby hospital. After releasing a book on corruption against uh, Anand Kumar, Sri Ram Sene chief uh, Pramod Muthalik is also to release a list of all the corrupt and tyrannical politicians. Muthalik will release the list for both the BJP and the Congress parties.